Got to get some bait. Mm -hmm. Before sure I go fishing this. Sure That's did. the only thing I know. All right, we all like to travel, but some get to pack their bags more times than others. Fabian is one of them. We don't ever get to go anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> He's here to tell us about his recent road trip this morning. Guys, I absolutely love to travel, and I would like to think I'm a professional traveler. Professional traveler? Professional, yeah. Huh. And I try to travel at least once a month, even if it's just to a different part of Texas. But this trip, I got to go a lot further. My final destination was Las Vegas, but on the way, I got to see some amazing sites and national parks. These are some photos from my trip. First, it's Meteor Crater in Arizona. It's the location of a meteorite impact. Wow. And then here are some other photos from the Grand Canyon, the most absolute beautiful place I've ever been to. Uh, and finally, I got to go to the Hoover Dam. That was my last stop before Vegas. And there's a picture right there. Now, <clears throat> my trip took me through every kind of weather you could imagine. I drove through blizzard-like conditions, rain, hail, and sleet. But I can't complain too much because the desert looked amazing. Now, the normal drive to the Grand Canyon is about 16 hours, but it took me 24 because waking up this early then driving across the country, it'll wear you out. I got to stand on what felt like the edge of the world and meet people not only from here in the States, but all over the world. Now the cost to get into the park will set you back about $30, and if you plan on camping, it's another $18 a night. They have facilities and places for RVs. There's also plenty of free camping spots uh, just south of the park. As long as you keep your vehicle at least a quarter mile off the highway, you're free to park, or free to camp anywhere. The elevation is around 6,500 feet above sea level, and at some points I was 7,500 feet above, making the wind that much colder. And this part of my trip was improvised a lot, since I only had about a week to prepare. I did not have any hiking boots. I wore flats, and I only brought one pair of pants, which I regretted while hiking because it was so cold. <laughs> now, I know I said I was going to Vegas, but I did not get any video or photos because what happens in Vegas, Vegas stays, stays in, in Vegas. Vegas. Mm -hmm. Now, my next trip next month will take me to San Diego, where I'll be attending Taco Fest. And I need to send a special thank you to the Link Hotel and Casino, my best friend Taylor Morgan, my new friend Rick Phillips, and I can't forget Jacko and the band Fortunate Youth. They're the whole reason I got to go on this trip. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So the best story was what happened when you were on the edge, the people next to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there was, uh, there was this family. There was a, it was a mom and a dad and a daughter. And the mom was holding up the phone like this. Right on the edge. Right on the over edge. Over the Grand Canyon. And then a big gust just came and blew her phone <laughs> right into the Grand Canyon. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's no getting that back. No, not at all. I mean, you can try, but wow. it would hurt. Great pictures. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ashley, have you ever been to